Let's get cooking in parsnip pandemonium. With Shane the Chef. Wow, Dad, look at all this snow. Hey, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone else likes it too. It's as cold as a polar bear's nose today. Well, it's perfect for my spicy parsnip soup, though. Oh, now there's a real treat. Yep, Maggie's promised me a whole load of parsnips. They'll be all the sweeter after this freezing cold weather. Reminds me of the time when I drove a team of huskies through the frozen <laughs> wastes of Greenland. My toes turned into popsicles. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Right, you are. Missed again, Mario. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you. Mario! <gasps> Uh-oh. Did you take those crunchy munchies from the deli counter? Um, what crunchy munchies, Mama? Whoop, whoop. Oh, Eddie. To me, please. Mm. Uh, and the other one. I said these are for after lunch, not before. <sighs> Sorry, Mama. Come on, let's go sledging. I think someone else wants to come too. <laughs> and I'd better get started on my soup. Maggie will be here with the parsnip soon. Ooh, I can't wait. <gasps> oh, neither can Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, this snow's so deep. Good thing the parsnips are protected under the polytunnel, or I'd never be able to dig them out, Millie. Oh, no! My polytunnel! Oh, how on earth am I going to get Shane his parsnips now? So there I was, stuck on an iceberg, floating out to sea with a homesick penguin. Uh, yes, it is a very sad story. No, it's not your story, Sam. It's the onions. Oh, they get me every time. I know how to fix that. Try standing on one foot with a slice of bread in your mouth. It never fails. It's what all the top chefs do. Really? Well, all right, I'll give it a go. What? What will I lose? Ah! <sighs> Maybe it was for hiccups. Oh, I can't even see the parsnips, Millie, let alone dig them out. <laughs> oh, you found one. <laughs> Oi, don't eat it. You can have the leaves. Now, let's see. Oh, it's frozen solid. Maybe if I tried pulling them out. <gasps> <laughs> Hurry up! Oh. Phew, Eddie, did you have two breakfasts today? You weigh a ton. Whoop. Don't talk about food. I'm starving. Can't believe Mama took my crunchy munchies. <gasps> Look! A crunchy munchie. Must have fallen out in my pocket. Yum. I don't know how you can eat those. They're disgusting. <laughs> They're not that bad, is he? I didn't say anything. <coughs> oh, dear. <gasps> it was Maggie. Look. <coughs> oh, whoa, duck! Saved. Thanks, Mario. I'm trying to dig these parsnips up for Shane, but I'm not having much luck. We'll help you. Yeah, <coughs> but what about the sledging? Mario. OK, of course. Hey, Eddie, stop. <laughs> Looks like Eddie started helping already. Sorry about that, Shane. Oh, I remember now. You put a teaspoon in your mouth. That's what my old grandmother used to do. Yeah, I think I'll just soak the onions in water, Sam. It's much safer. Yeah, that's strange. No water coming out. Sizzling saucepans, no. Oh, I hope the pipes aren't frozen. Hmm. There you go. Mario, you're supposed to be helping. I am. I just made a snowman with all the snow I shoveled. <sighs> well, it's got to go somewhere. Mario! <sighs> it's not fair, ready. I am working hard. <whistles> hey, leave that alone. <whistles> Come back! Come back! <sighs> yep, they're frozen, all right. It's this cold weather that's gone and done it. Now, as I was saying, when I was in Greenland with those huskies... Uh, Sam, sorry. Look, I've got to get these pipes defrosted or I'll have to close the restaurant. 
I used to heat up my sleeping bag with a hair dryer. Lovely and warm it was. All the huskies would snuggle up to me and... A hair dryer? That's a great idea, Sam. Yeah? Uh, only problem is, we don't have a hair dryer. I have. Huh? It, it's Eddie's. He gets snow bubbles in his fur. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, pull! pull! Oh, it's no use. It's just too hard. Maybe if Mario pulled as well. Yeah. Where is Mario? Whoa. Cool sledging hill, Eddie. Hey, now we're here, we may as well sledge down. Come on, Eddie. Here we go. Whoa, this is fun! Uh-oh, too fast, too fast! Try it now. Ah, she flows! Fantastic! Thanks, Sam. Right, now I can crack on with my soup. Well, I hope Maggie's on her way with those parsnips. She's cutting it a bit fine. Oh, I think it's time to give up, kids. Uh. We've been digging for hours and we've still only got one parsnip. And the snowman's got that. Oh, I'd better call Shane. He's going to be so disappointed. Whoa, watch hey. out, Eddie! We've gone too far! Uh, watch out! Ah. Oh, no! Ouch! Ah. Look out! Oh, Mario! Oh, no! You, Mario. Sorry, Maggie. I didn't do it on purpose. Honest. You're a genius. I am. You've solved our parsnip problem. Yeah. Well okay. done. Hello, Shane. Is Mario back yet? Uh, what are you doing? <coughs> Pardon? The teaspoon stops him crying when he's chopping onions. <laughs> Well, I never. Well, it actually kind of works. All I need now are the parsnips. Did anyone say parsnips? Whoa, that's a good haul. Sorry they're late. We had a bit of trouble digging them out. Well, till Mario arrived. <laughs> Eddie and I saved the day, didn't we, Eddie? <coughs> I think I deserve my crunchy munchies now, Mama. All right, as long as you eat your lunch. Yes. Uh, excuse me, there's nothing fresh in there. I could make you something much tastier. Better than Conti Munchies? No way. I'll show you if you like. But first, my spicy parsnip soup. So, you chop the parsnips, into the stock they go, a pinch of Mama Polenta's spices, and we'll leave that to bubble away. Then I blend it, and it's done. Is that it? It's easy. Easy and delicious. Now for my parsnip crisps. Parsnip crisps? Yep. Give them a good scrub, slice them up, touch of oil, bish bash bosh. What are we waiting for? Let's get cooking! Here we go, back of the oven. Yay! I'm still not sure about parsnip crisps. Here we go, spicy parsnip soup. And parsnip crisps. Delicious. Ta-da! Mmm, yummy. Mm. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm. Wow, mm. yummy. Mario? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mmm, they're OK. Better than OK, actually. I think he likes them. Yeah. Mm. I'll just give these to Eddie. <laughs> well, I think that says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's get cooking! With Shane the Chef. Shane the Chef lives by the sea. In his restaurant with his knee.
working in Izzy in Charge. With Shane the Chef. And finally, add the swede and the carrots. And then into the oven. Mmm, mmm, spicy autumn stew. Dad, what about the spice? What? Oops. <laughs> Here you go. Thanks, Izzy. Time is set, Dad. You'll make a great chef one day. Now for dessert. I thought I'd make baked apples. Maggie's got some for me. Oh, can I go and get them? OK. Don't forget your cycle helmet. OK. See you later. Bye. Hi, Izzy. Hi, Mario. Fancy coming to the farm? I'm going to collect apples from Maggie. Sure. I'll race you. Let's go! Mario, this way. I knew that. Autumn stew and baked apples? Oh, sounds delicious. Just what I need after a cold day's fishing. Reminds me of the time I got caught in an ice storm in the North Atlantic. The only thing we could see was the flashing light of the lighthouse. Then, all of a sudden, it went out. <gasps> Hello, Maggie. Hi, Maggie. Dad said you had some apples for him. Sure have, in that box. Feel free to pick up some of those off the ground as well. OK. Awesome. Ah, oh, this one's got brown holes in it. Oh, dear. The worms have had a nibble. <laughs> worms? worms? It's OK. Just cut those brown bits off and bake the rest. Baked worms in your apples? Yuck. <laughs> Whoa. Well, Millie seems to like him. <laughs> <laughs> Is everything OK, JG? We saw the light go out. I was just giving the wiring a bit of a tweak. Soon have it fixed. I hope so. That light's essential. To let ships know where the rocks are. Yes, that should do it. Could one of you go up and check the lamp while I keep an eye on the controls? No problem. I've got a bit of time before Izzy gets back with the apples. Dad, we've got the apples. Oh, where's he got to now? I'll give him a call. Hello, Izzy. Dad, I got the apples, but where are you? Oh, I'm giving JG a hand. Keep an eye on the stew for me, will you? And I'll be back as soon as I can. You're in charge. Bye. Uh, bye, Dad. I haven't found a single worm. You OK? Dad says that I'm in charge. That's great. I'll help. JG to Shane. Over. Hearing you loud and clear. It's really dark up here without the light. Over. It's about to get a whole lot brighter. Three, two, one. Wow! <laughs> it's working. I don't think any ships will get lost tonight. I'm coming down. Over and out. <laughs> Sizzling saucepans. Well, what do you think? Wow, you look like a real chef. Do I? And if you're the chef, I'm your most important customer. Mmm. Um, uh, ah. Uh, yuck! Uh, worms! They're full of worms! Worms! Ow! <laughs> worms cost extra, sir. Unless you want to do the washing up. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh! <gasps> the stew's ready. But what about the baked apple dessert? Oh, hmm. That's never happened before. Shane, come in. Are you all right, over? I'm fine. 
but the lift is stuck. Over. Ah! <laughs> right, don't worry. It just needs a bit of a tweak. Over and out. Ow! Oh. <laughs> oh, gosh. Everyone's waiting for their supper. Where's Dad? Hello? Hi, Izzy. I'm a bit, um, stuck at the moment. I think you're going to have to run the restaurant tonight. Is that OK? Uh... Oh, you'll be great. Don't worry. I'll call Maggie. She'll be able to give you a hand. <sighs> what did he say? I've got to run the restaurant tonight, but I've never done it on my own before. You're not on your own. You've got the best waiter in town to help you. Ta-da! <laughs> what do you think, Eddie? Blue wire first, then red, then green for go. Ta-da! <gasps> Calamity. Eddie, you told me the wrong one. Tasty. Oh, Tasty. Oh, oh. Did you enjoy your stew, madam? Oh, Mario, you are such a good waiter. Did I ever tell you about the time I was a waiter on one of the big ocean liners? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Everybody loved the stew. Thanks for your help, Maggie. I just hope they don't want dessert. Everyone wants desserts. Sizzling saucepans. Dad, everyone wants dessert. Hey, 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 don't panic. I'll talk you through it. Looks like you could use my help again, Izzy. <laughs> Uh, yes, please. I can help. Uh, how about you entertain the customers, Mario? OK. <clears throat> Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, can I... Right, Dad. What should we do? Maggie, can you call the apples? No problem, Shane. Izzy, I'd like you to mix some sultanas and nuts with a little bit of honey. OK, Dad. Right, let's get cooking. <laughs> Okay, almost done. Now, you sprinkle them with... Oh, no. Dad! Dad! Oh, no, his battery must have run out. What am I supposed to sprinkle them with? Uh. <gasps> what about cinnamon? Eh, hey, you're the boss. But I mean chef. <laughs> yes, now, that should work. Okay, Eddie, this is it. <laughs> Yes, we have lift off. Well, I mean, <laughs> lift down. Almost done. Just as well. I'm not sure the customers could take much more of Mario's singing. <laughs> Baked apples. Give them to me. Take them from the floor. And not from the tree. Oh, Mario, you sing like an angel, <laughs> just like your mama. Dessert is served. Yay! Yay! Oh, Yummy. Ah, oh, are we in time for dessert? I hear the baked apples are awesome. Here you go, Shane. Thanks, Mario. Oh, look at that. I sprinkled the apples with cinnamon. Is that OK? That's exactly what I would have done. They are delicious. Woo! Thanks, Dad. Izzy, you're one top chef. There's only one thing wrong. Oh, no. What? No baked worms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mario. There's no worms in my cooking.
Let's get cooking in Fancy Fish Fingers. With Shane the Chef. That's the preparation done. All we need now is the fish. Sam should be here soon. Coming out to play, is he? Sure. But first you have to guess Dad's dish of the day. Oh, um... Uh... Fish fingers. Huh? How did you know? Dad! <laughs> <laughs> Here you are, Shane. My last loaf of bread. It's a bit dry, but it will make good breadcrumbs. Perfect for my fish fingers. Thanks, Mama Polenta. I'd better go. Mario's minding the shop for me while I run a few errands. <laughs> Ciao! Bye. Bye! So that's the breadcrumbs sorted. Let's hope Sam's caught some pollock today. Is that a fish? That's right. They make the best fish fingers. And there's plenty of them in the sea, too. Ah! That's Sam now. Hi, Sam. Psst. Huh? huh? Lovely. Mario? Shh. See you then. So, Sam's caught a big pollock and... Oh. Wow. That's a lot of cornflakes. What happened? Did your mum order too many? Um, not exactly. Mario. Cornflakes are my favourite breakfast. But Mama only ordered five boxes, so I added a zero after the five. Whoa. Fifty boxes of cornflakes? I didn't realise there'd be this many. What am I going to do? Mama's going to be back any second. We could try selling them around town. If we sell 45 boxes at £1.50 a box, we'd make £67.50. pence. Cool. I'm sure Mum and Polenta will be happy with that. Which means I won't get told off. Quick, take cover. Watch out. Phew, well spotted, Jay. You can look out for Mum and Polenta while we get these cornflakes out of here. Eggs, bread. All I need now is the fish. Hi, Shane. Oh, oh hi, oh. Penny. I bought you a honeycomb from my beehives. Oh, sorry. It's a bit drippy. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, whoops! Oh! Whoa! <laughs> Almost got honey on the ingredients for my fish fingers. Oh, wow! Fish fingers. They're the kids' favourite. They are easy to make. Not for me. I can't cook. I'm too clumsy. Everyone can cook. I'll show you. Well, OK. But don't say I didn't warn you. Here, let me help you tidy that up. Oh, oh oops! Oh! Morning, Shane. Here's your work. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Pollock. Sorry. Almost done. Just a few boxes left now. <gasps> Mario, your mum. She's coming back. Oh, no. Quick, this way. Mario, I'm back. <laughs> and look who's followed me. Mario? Where is that boy? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are these cornflakes doing all over my clean floor? And there are more over there. Hmm. I'm sure my Mario's got something to do with this. <laughs> Let's follow that trail. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, Mario. You'll end up in the sea. We've got to get rid of these before Mama finds out. <gasps> oh, my gosh! Flying fishes. Now, that's the strangest thing I've ever caught. Sorry, Sam. Ah, cornflakes. I love them. <clears throat> Me too. <laughs> we know. I remember trekking through the Arctic, looking for the giant yeti. Miles and miles through the frozen wasteland we went, rationed we were. One cornflake a day. One cornflake? Do you want to buy a box? Or even two? Say if you're going to the shop. What a good idea. Here you are. One box sold, 44 to go. Thanks, Sam. Thanks again. Bye. Come on.
on, Eddie. Now, when you've finished putting the bread in, you just press this first button, followed by this one, then that one, then back to the first again. And it'll whiz it up into perfect breadcrumbs. OK. I'll just pop these fish bits in the freezer. I can make a tasty soup with them later. Now, oh, which button was it first? Oh, oh that's a bit fast. Uh, no, was it this one? Oh, oh, no, not that. Uh, maybe this one? Whoops! Uh, chain! Chain! Cornflakes! Crunchy cornflakes! Come and get them! Best cornflakes I'll ever eat! Where is everyone? We'll never get rid of all these boxes. We could eat them. Uh, <sighs> but then we wouldn't get any money. Oh, yeah. And in any case, there's way too many of them. Not for me. I could have cornflake sandwiches, cornflake cakes, cornflake crisps and cornflake chips. You sound just like my dad. He can make a meal out of anything. Wait a second. That's it. We'll take them to Dad. He'll know exactly what to do with them. More cornflakes? I must be getting closer. Ah! Help! Shane! Sizzling saucepan. Oh, no! The breadcrumbs! Never mind. I'm sure we can come up with another easy dish we can make together. No, it's no use, Shane. I'm just too clumsy to cook. <laughs> Mario! Oh, no! It's Mama! Stop! Why did you leave the shop? And what are all these cornflake boxes? I can explain. It was a mistake, Mama Polenta. And we've already sold one box. Ugh. No, Penny, come back. No, Shane. I'll only make a mess of your kitchen again. Uh, uh, uh! <gasps> Are you OK? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's all right, Penny. It's not your fault. They shouldn't be here in the first place. Sorry, Mama. Oh, look at all those crushed cornflakes. Don't worry, Mario. They are exactly what we need. What? Huh? Huh? Come on. We've got some fish fingers to finish. These crushed cornflakes are just right for our fish fingers. They are? Yep. We can use them instead of the breadcrumbs. You just dip the fish into the egg, then the cornflakes, and there we go. Now, Let's get cooking. Back of the oven. I hope you've learnt your lesson, Mario. From now on, you leave the ordering to me. <laughs> Today's special, Penny's Crunchy Fish Fingers. Oh, I hope you like them. Mmm, yummy. You're a really good cook, Mum. I am. Mmm. See, Mama? I knew we needed all those cornflakes. But Dad only used half a box. What are you going to do with all the rest? Easy. Mrs. Singh could make me crunchy fish fingers every day. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
rocking in Dancing Under the Stars. With Shane the Chef. Cha-cha-cha, one, two, cha-cha-cha. Ouch! Oh, sorry, Mama Polenta. Oh, that's okay, Shane. Yesterday you stepped on my toes 20 times. Today, only five. It's an improvement, I guess. But I don't think I'll be good enough in time for tonight's dinner dance. Ugh. Of course you will. You just need to practice. Oh, thank you so much, Mama Polenta. It's really kind of you to get up so early to give me dance lessons. Oh, it's my pleasure, Shane. And remember, the cha-cha-cha is all about the South American Latin rhythm. All about the Latin rhythm, eh? OK. One, two, cha-cha-cha. One, two, cha-cha-cha. Boobity, choo, cha-cha-cha. Cha cha cha. Yes. I got this. One, two, cha cha. Whoa! Right. Oh, Ugh. that's embarrassing. I'd better get the lunch ready. Thanks for your help, Izzy. No problem, Dad. Have you checked out the town hall kitchen? Don't worry. It's almost as well equipped as ours. I've cooked in it before, and I've got the menu for the dinner dance all worked out. Just checking, Dad. You go and have a great afternoon at school. Bye. Right, let's give that dance another try. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. One, two. Ah! Cha Whoa! Ah! Sizzling in Salzburg! Ooh, got away with that. Right, let's get the fish for tonight from Sam. Oh, hey there, Shane. Look at this lovely lot. Sea bus, pollock, good meaty white fish. Mmm. That's good news, because I have planned a seafood feast for everyone at the dance. <coughs> yeah. Jolly. <coughs> Oh, Jolly! Oh, no. Hey, come back here, you. Oh, it's a proper mess in there, and no mistake. Oh, and the kitchen is completely wrecked. But everything was set up in there for the dinner dance tonight. Oh, what are we going to do? I was so looking forward to the dance. Well, why don't we hold it in the town square? We can build the dance floor here. Yeah. Rig up a sound system. You could use mine. And I'll cook the food in my kitchen. Woohoo! Problem solved. <laughs> I'm afraid that won't be possible. Who's that? Ah, uh, that would be Mr Barker, the building safety inspector from the council. I'm afraid I'm going to have to turn off the gas to all the buildings in the market square. We need to ensure that none of the pipes have been damaged. Oh, oh no! How are we supposed to cook the food now? Don't worry, Izzy. I'll think of something. I hope. Just needs a tweak. That's a uh, ha. Uh, huh. Okay, Mario, give it a go. Yeah. 
Ah. Oh no. What am I gonna do? Woohoo! Not along now, Shane. <laughs> oh, what's the matter? To be honest, I'm not sure how I'm going to make a dinner for everyone without any gas. Oh, Shane, I am sure you will come up with something. <laughs> How about some more dance lessons to take your mind off things? <laughs> Thanks, Mama Polenta. That'll really help. <laughs> <sighs> it's finished. Great. I'll go and tell Dad. Oh, one, two, a cha cha cha. Oh, one, a two, a cha cha cha. Ouch! Oh, dear. Oh, no, I thought I was getting the hang of it. Don't you worry, Shane. Just keep it simple. That's it. I know what to cook for the dance. Mama Polenta, you're a genius. Am I? Oh, Shane. <laughs> Dad, the dance floor's finished. Oh, that's great. I'm going to move the seafood feast outdoors onto the barbecue. Great. Let's get cooking. <laughs> Wrap the grilled fish with the yummy peach salsa. Delicious. Here you go, JG. I say the tortillas like a plate and a wrapper all in one. <laughs> Ingenious. Wow, it looks like everyone's enjoying the dancing. Cha cha cha. Oh, one and two and the cha cha cha. One, two, cha cha cha. One foot, two foot, one foot, oh. two foot. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sid. Oh. Izzy, where are you going? Yay! Oh, <laughs> magic that. Oof! Oh, mamma mia! <laughs> oh, that Sam is a devil on the dance floor! <laughs> mamma Polenta, you really should try Shane's dish. Mm -hmm. oh, delicious! Grilled fish tortillas with salsa. It's from South America. I was inspired by the rhythm of the cha-cha-cha. Speaking of the cha-cha-cha, Shane, I see Maggie isn't dancing with anyone. Ah, uh, no. I don't, well, I don't know. <laughs> Someone's got to serve the food. I can do that, Dad. Oh, uh, well, thank you, Izzy. But, um, well, you're... Well, I, I, oh, hang on. Who's keeping an eye on the sound system? I'm on that, Shane. Well, I mean, come on. What about rearranging the chairs? Oh, we've all got it covered, Shane. So no more excuses. Uh, OK. Uh, hiya. Uh, Maggie, hi. Sorry. I was, uh, I was thinking... I'm, well, I mean, I mean, I was, I was more wondering if, if you would care to, uh... Shane, I'd love to. <laughs> oh, go on, Dad. <laughs> Dad was such a good dancer. Well, he did have a very good teacher. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> My foot. Oh, sorry, Shane. <laughs> Don't worry. Take it from me. It takes practice. <laughs>
Let's get cooking in Tuck Tuck Trouble. With Shay the Chef. What a sight for an old sea dog's eyes. A fine catch if ever I saw one. Hey, Eddie? Trolley, leave my fish alone. Whoa there, Eddie, town boy. God, stop it, you do. Eddie, Trolley. Oh. <laughs> there you are, Dad. Are you planning tonight's menu? Yes, I am. We're having something really exciting. Ooh, what is it? Well, tonight, Izzy, we are having... <laughs> cabbages. Cabbages? They're not exciting. <laughs> no, trust me, Izzy. They will be exciting and delicious. Shoo! Shoo! You pesky seabird! Down, Eddie! <laughs> right then, Maggie will be here any minute with the cabbages. I'd better get the kitchen ready. Eddie, you're making it worse. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, oh dear. This doesn't feel right. Problems, Maggie? I think it's the brakes, JG. They're just not working properly. Would you like me to take a look? I've been known to tinker with a tuck duck from time to time. It probably just needs a tweak. Oh, thanks, JG. That'd be a big help. Now then, let's see what we've got. Hmm, all right. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Is it the brake discs? Maybe they're worn out. <laughs> Yes! That's just what I was going to say. Ooh, do you know, I might have some spares in my workshop somewhere. <laughs> I'll help you look for them. Eddie, Eddie, get out of Maggie's TikTok. Me, tuck tuck. Oh, come back, Eddie! You don't know how to drive! Oh! Oh! oh, oh cabbages! Oh, cabbages! Oh, here comes Maggie with my cabbages. Hiya, Maggie! <laughs> but... what? Eddie? Oh, stop that dog! What? What? Oh, no. Izzy! He won't stop! Dad, be careful! Out of the way, quick! Oh, no! Watch out! Oh! No! Wow! Oh, is that Shane? I think it might be. Oh, oh. Brakes! They aren't working, Shane! Yes, I know! Try applying the handbrake, Shane. That ought to do it. OK, I've got it, I've got it. Sizzling saucepan. Now what am I going to do? Uh-oh. We'll think of something. <laughs> Whoa! Look out! Eddie! Jolly! You see? What is that noise? Mamma mia! What is going on? Run away, Tuk Tuk Mamma Polenta! Shane can't stop! What? Oh no! Hmm, I'm coming too! Don't go without me! Right, how do I stop this thing? Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. No! Oh, no! Oh! Oh, no! Whoa! I'm oh. back! Careful! Don't worry, I've got an idea. Good. What is it? You need to manually disengage the transmission. Manually what? What? With this. It's quite simple. Well, I can't do that. I'm a chef, not a mechanic. Possibly a tad impractical. I'll think of something else. Look out! Ah! Whoa! Oh, I feel like cabbage soup. Did someone say something? Help me! Help me! Oh, my! 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 Oh,
Jess! Oh, I'm sure I'm hearing things. Help! Oh my! Calamity! Flying cabbages! Who oh, what a waste! I've got an idea, Mama Polenta! Go left a bit! Oh, hooray! Got one! Oh, now right! Oh, and, oh, and another! Ha! That's it! Oh, got one! Oh, got another! Keep going, Maggie! You're saving the cabbages! How much fuel is in the tank? Oh, I just filled her up. I was afraid you'd say that. Oh, these Series 7s are remarkably fuel efficient. Shane could be going all night. JG! Shane! Hi, oh, like oh. Help me! Help me! Oh, there he is. Got it, I've got it. Oh, no! Oh. I haven't slow down! Shane! Oh, my goodness! Ah! It's quiet in town today. Let's make the most of it. Watch out! Oh, 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 wow! Ah. Quick, Mama Polenta! Is he helping? Dad! Dad! Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, Eddie! Dolly! Whoa! Watch out! Whoa! Don't worry, I'm fine. Oh, oh, there's that noise again. Where is it coming from? It hasn't stopped yet. Sam, you were in the back all along. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm sure everything will stop spinning eventually. You just take a moment. You've had quite a turn. Sam, what happened to all the cabbages? Well, they're all gone. They fell out of the back. Well, there goes tonight's menu. And to think that I thought cabbages weren't exciting. Ahem. <clears throat> Shane! Did you want the cabbages? <laughs> we seem to have caught a few. <laughs> Mama Polenta! Maggie! Oh, what can I say? Um, what about Maggie's tuk-tuk? Yeah, we can't leave it there. Now, all together, everyone! One, two, three, four! Here we go! Oh, no. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Amazing! Now who's hungry? Oh yes, please! Yes. <laughs> so what do we need, Dad? A cake we need onion, garlic, tomato, kidney beans, carrot, celery and spices. Oh, and lots and lots of cabbage leaves. So, Let's get cooking! Job done. Back of the oven. Yay! I was hit on the head again and again by tumbling cabbages. Reminds me of the time when I was trapped in a runaway tuk-tuk full of cabbages. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is that time. Well, I can tell you now, I'll never look at another cabbage ever again. Can't bear the sight of them. So, who's for cabbage leaves stuffed with vegetarian chilli? Me, me, me. Yum. I thought you couldn't look at another cabbage. Or, oh, yes. I'll start that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get cooking with Shane the Chef. Shane the Chef lives by the sea. In his restaurant with Izzy. Cooking up new recipes. Come on in, try it.
Let's get cooking in Honey Honey. With Shane the Chef. <laughs> Hi, honey. Are you okay? Not really. <coughs> I've got a singing lesson with Mrs. Morris later, and I wanted to practice my scales, but I've got this cough. <coughs> I was hoping some fresh air would help. Well, I think you're a brilliant singer. Ah, a bee! Ah, wh what do I do? There's nothing to be scared of. <coughs> bees won't hurt you if you don't hurt them. You would say that. Your mum loves bees so much she named you Honey. You should come and see how Mum looks after her bees. <coughs> it's really interesting. There's thousands of them in every hive. Thousands? Uh, really? Sounds... sounds great. Got to go. Almost time for my lesson. <coughs> see ya. Bye-bye. Any sign of Maggie? She's not usually so late with our vegetable delivery. Hello? Shane, it's Maggie. It doesn't look like I'll be able to make my vegetable delivery this morning. My tuk-tuk's covered by a swarm of bees. Bees? That sounds serious. Well, don't get too close to them. You should call... Penny. She's already on her way over. If you want your veg, I'm afraid you'll have to come and collect it yourself. I'm on my way, Maggie. See you soon. What's the matter? Big emergency at the farm, Izzy. Bees all over the tuk-tuk. Come on. We could pick up our veg delivery and get a look at those bees. Uh, bees? Well, you can see why I couldn't make today's delivery. Yeah, you can't drive that. But it's really interesting to see a swarm up close, isn't it, Izzy? Uh... Are you OK? Uh, there are so many of them. Tell you what, how about you come and give me a hand? I've been so busy with those bees, I haven't got round to picking the vegetables for your delivery. Uh, OK. Oh, great. Here's Penny. <laughs> Sizzling saucepans. Penny? Hello, Shane. I came as quickly as I could. Well, <laughs> thanks. Now, where are those bees? Right here. How exciting! That is a good-sized swarm. Not to worry, though, I've brought my equipment. I just need one more thing. An assistant. Ah, uh, OK. <laughs> and bees don't just make honey. They're vital for pollinating loads of different types of plants. Oh, I didn't realise they were so important. Oh, Penny knows much more about them than me. <laughs> Why don't you ask her? After all, she's the expert. I'm ready, Penny. Is that Dad? What do you want me to do first? Shouldn't that hat be on the other way around? Dad! The swarm's this way. Oops! <laughs> I think I've still got to get the hang of this hat. Shane, there you are. And two more assistants. I'm afraid I've only got one more beekeeper's suit. Izzy, would you like to put it on and help out? Me? Oh, I can't see a thing. Um, well, that's a lot of bees. Um, Go for it, Izzy. <laughs> it's not often you get a chance to see a swarm up close. That's what I'm worried about. Uh, uh -huh. thanks. Shane. Yeah? I want you to direct the smoke over the swarm. It will make them drowsy and I'll be able to coax them into this box using my bee brush. OK, Penny, here goes. Uh, Shane, uh, are you sure you're holding that the right way? Oh, 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 oh my gosh. <coughs> oh, 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 dear. Dad, watch out. <coughs> Give it to me, Dad. What? Oh. Here we go. Thank you, Izzy. That's it. Just a little more. Now, the bees are just about sleepy enough to let me brush them into this box. Well done, Izzy. I can't believe it. Izzy would never get this close to so many bees. She's concentrating so hard. She hasn't got the time to be scared. There we go. One swarm all boxed. 
Well, that was easier than I thought. Everything's easy when you know how. I'm so proud of you. Oh, Dad. They're ready for a new home now, and I've got just the place. Want to come and see? Can we, Dad? Of course. No need to mob, but you coil your rope. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi there, honey. Why so glum? I was meant to have a singing lesson, but Mrs Morris sent me home. <coughs> I've got this cough. Tickly, irritating coffee. I've got just the thing for that. I'll be two shakes of a turbot's tail. Just need a little bit of that and a pinch of this. Have a sip of this. What is it? Ugh. Seaweed tea. An old fisherman's recipe. Oh, <laughs> that's uh, really kind of you, Sam. Um, wow, look, is that a whale? A whale? Where? I can't see a whale, honey. Sorry, Sam. <coughs> My mistake. Thanks for the tea. I, um, I feel better already. She drank that right down here, eh, Eddie. Funny, the smell puts most people off. Oh. This empty hive will make the perfect new home for the swarm. All I have to do is open the box and give the bees a bridge to their new home. Uh, what exactly are we waiting for? There, look! All it takes is for one or two of the swarm to find their way. Wow, that's amazing! And the rest soon follow. It'll take a little while for the bees to settle in and start producing honey. Oh, but our other bees have been very busy. Would you like to help me harvest their honey? Oh, yes, please. You know, honey's more than just a food. It's an antiseptic, and it's thought to cure all sorts of ailments. Colds, for instance. It's not scientifically proven, of course. Those bees were amazing. But we still haven't decided on today's special. Uh, maybe something with honey? Of course! Why didn't I think of that? Now let's see. We've got flour, eggs, brown sugar, butter and fresh ginger. <gasps> I know what we can make. Honey cakes! Let's get cooking! Back of the oven. Great job, Dad. Hi, Mum. <coughs> Honey, why aren't you at your singing lesson? Mrs Morris said to go home until this cough has cleared up. <coughs> A special treat for our bee expert, Penny. <coughs> Are you OK, Honey? <coughs> this will cheer you up. Honey cupcake. <coughs> <laughs> it can't taste as bad as Sam's seaweed tea. Seaweed tea? Yuck. Hmm. Dad, remember what Mrs Singh said? Uh. About honey. Ah. Hot water, a dollop of Mrs Singh's honey, a squeeze of lemon and some fresh ginger. One homemade honey and lemon drink, perfect for soothing a tickly throat. I thought it might help your cough. Hmm. You know, I think it does. My throat feels a bit better and I've stopped coughing. I knew it. Honey always helps. Well, it was Izzy's idea. I think Izzy now understands bees a little better. But you were nervous about just one bee earlier. Not anymore. <laughs> you want to try a cake now? Yes, Shane, thank you. Don't thank Dad. <laughs> thank the bees. <laughs> 